now let's just start all from the beginning so what we're gonna do in this lecture is we'll just make a payload and we'll just listen on the port on this server or on the Kali Linux and on the client side you can see we have this MS Edge which is the virtual box of Windows 10 ready and we'll just inject that payload from the web server and we'll just run this backdoor and see if it can be detected by this antivirus or not so first of all as always let's go to the Kali Linux and this is the machine where you have this veil framework so it is installed in this opt folder if you remember from the previous lecture if i list there is veil so if i just go to the veil let me list one more time in order to run this framework we'll just do something like this veil.py let's hit enter then you will have this veil framework up and running so next thing what you need to do over here is to make a payload you have to first use that is one because we want this evasion so i'll just use one now let me list all the payload that is available you could see the 41 payload we want maybe this payload which is reverse https so i have told you before that this is the naming convention where the payload starts with the programming language that it is made of and this is a meter pater for the reverse shell or basically for the connection between the client and the server and here is the name so it is basically a reverse https that means our client will try to connect to the server or not that the kali linux is going to connect so basically what happens is if any server or basically in my case it is a kali linux so if kali linux try to connect directly to the client then it is not possible because there is a firewall that is not going to give us any connection so if there is any malicious content you want to transport directly it is not possible so if client connects to the server that is possible because in that case firewall does not care about basically it trust each and every connection that is done by the client so that is one of the main disadvantage or basically we can use this payload on any type of machine so in that case the firewall trust each and every connection that is done by the client so in our case the client is window so enough of that let's make our payload so i'll just say i want to use the 15 number let's see you can directly see over here some of the options and we are familiar with this all of these options so the menu over here is l host and the l port so let's set this L host to the IP address of this Kali machine. So I'll just say L host is I have to confirm first with this I have config. So let's go over here and I'll just say I have config and this will give us the IP address. Let's type here 192.168. So I have host or basically I have set the L host now let's give the port so i want this 8080 which is used by the web server so let's enter here and if you want to see the options you'll simply type options and you will see that now we have this l host and l port right here so next thing what i want to do is set some processors for it so i'll just say processors and i'll just set to one and now if you see the options and this is our last option so we have been doing this from the beginning of this veil framework so this should not be any confusion for you so next thing what you need to do is we'll simply say generate which is going to give us the payload so it will see what is the name so i'll just give main reverse cell or main reverse so this will be our name or i can also add this is the HTTPS so I'll just say this is the main reverse HTTPS payload and we are going to inject this to the client so let's hit enter now it will just do all of this encoding technique and it will just give us now that is the executable is right over here in this var library veil output compiled in the name of the reverse cell so let's go to that place so I'll just uh, navigate from here and in this case we have to go to the var library and veil 
and it is on the output and it is on the compiled so here there are so many payloads that we have been doing in the previous lectures but now in this case it is main reverse HTTPS so it is right here so let me copy this first which is main reverse HTTPS now let's put this into our web server so let's go back to the var and our web server is inside this www html and i want to just include into this file so let's paste it down here and this is our payload in the web server so next thing what you need to do is run your apache server so i have already running apache server if you want to run here then this is the terminal and basically if you want to run you have to first type service apache 2 and start so this is the way to start your apache server and after you just hit enter apache server is going to run if you want to stop the server you can also do that is restart the server with this restart command so in my case i'll just restart so our apache server is restarted and we have this framework or basically this payload inside our web server so let's go now so before going over there and just downloading that payload let's listen that or basically let's listen to the port in here so let's open the new window or new terminal and let me just make this real big and we are going to use msf console which will just have this handler and this handler is responsible for communicating between this kali linux and the machine which in this case is a window so let it give a time to load and it is showing that it is the meta exploit framework so first of all you have to use that exploit multi handler which is the module over here and uh, let me hit enter then now we are inside this multi handler so if you want to see the options you can see directly with this so options and you can see here that we don't have any payload options we don't have local host and local port so what you need to do first is we have to set the payload so in our case the payload is going to be executed on the windows and it is based on this meterpreter framework and after that you have to pass the name here so in our case it is reverse HTTPS if you have used reverse HTTP, just type reverse HTTP. If you made the payload which is based on reverse TCP, just type reverse TCP over here. But in our case, it is reverse HTTPS. Let me hit enter. So before that, I want to show you something. What if we just remove this and just pass a window and hit enter? Then it is going to show us error that this payload is not valid. So you have to just give here the proper name and after that i'll just hit enter now if you see options again then this is going to give us the payload option now and you can see the payload right here we have this yell host and yell port now so we have to now assign here so i'll just say set and yell host which is the kali machine ip address and i'll just type it over here and the next thing is your port and in this case it will be 8080 let's make sure that everything is perfect and you could see now we have this payload option l host which is this ip address of kali machine and you will see that here is 8080 this is the port that kali machine will listen to for all the incoming connection so incoming connection can be multiple client and multiple client can communicate to this Kali machine so uh, now what you need to do is just type exploit in order to get or basically in order to execute the handler which will just listen to the incoming connection so let me just press exploit now you could see we have started this reverse handler on this IP address which is this machine Kali address and 8080 is the port that this machine is listening to so now let's go to our window machine here and let's open that is this web page of 
our Kali machine. So in this case, it is 192.168.1.12. So this is the Kali IP address. So let me hit enter and wait for a moment. So this is our web page and we have to navigate inside the file because the file is inside this directory. So I'll just hit enter now. Then you could see the all the file over here. So we want this main reverse HTTPS. Let me download it and make sure it is the same. And I'll just say run now. So now it will just give the information. It is nothing that is, it is also saying that this is not the virus because if it was the virus, then it has been already deleted. But this is a simple message and this message is given every time you install anything on the windows. So we'll go to the more info, we'll say run anyway. Now we think we have run this. Let's go back to the Kali machine. You'll see we are now inside this meter session. That means we can now execute the command of this meter module. So if I hit enter, you'll see now we are inside this MSH window 10. You could see that is Windows 10 and it is 64 gigabyte or basically 64 bit, not the gigabyte. So it is saying that it is a 64 bit machine and you can see the meter operator version over here and we have now complete connection between these two machines so we have got the reverse shell and now client machine is communicating with the kali machine and it is done through this machine so there is no firewall inside here acting to just block the communication because because the firewall is just accepting that communication or they are just trusting the communication because that is the loophole over there and we just made use of that in order to get the reverse shell and client communicate to the server or in this case in the Kali machine and we get whole access to this computer now so you can now put any command like ls command or you can also see that is multiple command we'll see in the next upcoming lecture so see you in the next one